This time last year, we were prepared to fight through what would be our last winter in the RV. This year, winter looks different for us, and we're so grateful. 2021 will be the beginning of a whole new chapter for us, but first, we're going to finish what we started. What I'm working on right now is grind down the bolts to the barn sliding doors. Hopefully this door goes smooth. The last door we did in the bathroom didn't go so well. So while I'm doing that, Aaron's gonna go ahead and be staining some boards and hopefully we can stay ahead this weather because it's starting to rain. It sleets a little bit, sun comes out and it keeps going back and forth. My turn. You get that. I got that. It's a little colder out there than I was expecting. Oh, I'm actually prepared. Come on, Chuck. Sanchez, let's go. Before I get the barn door hung in the master bedroom, if you look over here, this bracket, that bracket has an indention, so this roller stays in the middle of that bracket. My homemade brackets do not have that indention right there to keep this in the center, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is uh, pretty much grind down the wood right there and make an indention and then pull the roller tight to the door itself and then put the bracket on to suck it into the door so the door stays center with this roller here. That should work. So the door went up just fine. There was no problem, but we do have a little bit of an issue. When it got up, it was kind of cock out a little bit. This back side right here was was up higher than this side. Um, looked at everything, put it down, looked at everything, see, how, see what the issue was. And come to find out, when I put both these two rollers together, this one sits probably almost a half inch taller than this guy right here. And so this portion is about a half inch higher than that guy. This guy right here is actually 
inside the groove of the door. He's sitting above the door right now. So that's our issue. So we need to get new ones. Um, there's no real good way to fix this without having an eyesore on the backside of the uh, door with a big gap like that. Yeah. Half inch gap. Um, can we just put it up for now maybe to get it out of the way? Because yeah. right now it's been sitting in our family room. <laughs> yes. So at least now it can be up and yeah. out of the way. We can, put it, we can actually put it all together and let it hang. It's just going to be like that but it's gonna be out of the way, it's gonna be safe, it's not unsafe. Yeah. Let's leave it, but it's kind of, it's a very big disappointment though, I think, because we're actually in the process of trying to get everything finished and done so we can start the rest of the house. But we don't want to have loose ends everywhere and then start building another house because those loose ends will never get completed. But the good news is the door looks great. <laughs> Besides the fact that's cockeyed. <laughs> <laughs> There is a panel behind that barn style sliding door. Is it an issue? No, we can access it. Yeah, so when right now when the door's closed, or I'm sorry, it's open, you don't see the panel, which is a good thing that we wanted. Yes, hides so, it. It hides it. So we need to access it, we close the door. But the issue we do have is we don't have our three feet of clearance because the bed's there, but it's all temporary. There's not our bedroom. And it we do now. what we want. We do what we want. <laughs> um, <laughs> the big issue that we do have is where our light switches are at. We've known we're going to have this issue for months and months and months now. Yeah. But we're going to eventually move these switches from here to right here. Um, it's not a big deal on our end, no. or my end. Um, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing you're probably about yeah, to say. Yes, so we have switches on this side right now. We act, they're all three-way switches to operate this room. Yes, there's one over here and there's also one over here. But I think that our original plan was to have the barn-style sliding door actually slide a little bit past that, um, that switch. That's right there. However, it didn't work out because our rail is too small and our barn style sliding door is too big. So, so you know, you adapt and adjust the biggest and then issue, Josh fixes it. The biggest issue we're gonna have is uh, getting it to patch that drywall properly the first time. What drywall? I'm gonna cut holes in the drywall right here to move the switches. <laughs> <laughs> no, not again, not again. I know what you should do. You should try doing drywall work with your channel locks. Then you could probably actually do it, you know? Now onto the board that will serve as the transition piece between the stone and the drywall. Guy. <laughs> Found my jigsaw, but I have no blades left to cut the wood. So I'm gonna force to use my sawzall. We'll make that work. If you guys can hear the generator on back behind me, we're actually running the power tools on the generator today because we haven't actually had sunlight for a number of days now. So batteries are getting a little bit low. We will not have this issue next winter because we're actually actively expanding our solar setup. Everything's ordered, it's gonna be here this week. Um, you guys wanna hear the details on that, check out the vlog video. Uh, check out the comment section and we'll link the video for you guys.
been a like a long, tedious day. Even even Chuck is done. A lot of odds, lot of odds and ends. He looks exhausted. I know he does. He's just you? He, he's growling at me because he's ready for me to be done for the day and just sit down with him and give him some love. But we're trying to just get these things done. Oh, my, like this right here, his entire wall, <laughs> the bane of my existence. Right I know. Here. You know what I mean? I know. So. But he got it done. Like it's good this Almost time. Almost done. I'm gonna put this access panel in there because we have drivers back behind here. Mm -hmm. This is gonna go in. We'll get it all screwed in. This needs to get painted. The wall's <laughs> done. <laughs> You know what I mean? So, it's done. And this, you guys saw us put this up. This is a board from our local sawmill because we needed it yes. to be like a specific width. So. Yes. And I know you guys see me working on this thing a lot. Um, the big old hump that was there, that's been gone, right? Yeah. So I guess the last time we did it, um, there's some, maybe I didn't mix it up well enough. I'm not sure what, but there's some air bubbles in it, in the uh, mud. So when we, uh, sanded everything down you had a lot of pin drop pin holes all over the place so did a light coat on that did two coats today sanded it down and they're all gone you can see the little pin dri dots everywhere mm -hmm. i don't see on that but I right here they're all over the place they're all filled with mud sand down nice and flat ready for paint yes so i'm i'm going to paint chuck is going to watch take take I'm off next to him and uh give him a back rub while you paint oh that's so sweet <laughs> What do you want? Oh. What do you want? I'm getting so mad. It's the first day of 2021 and we've already been handed a lesson in patience. These little details take time, but they're important and part of the road to completing our home. Sometimes we want things to move more quickly so we can just reach our end goal. But it's in those moments that we forget the projects aren't our main focus. It's the times in between that matter. Could have been